This video is sponsored by Moon Prep. Moon Prep is a team of experienced college counselors that guide students through the entire application process. Work one on one with a specialist and gain acceptance to your top choice university. Schedule your free call today at moonprep.com to learn more. Hello, I'm Daniel Drake, and welcome back to another episode of How to Get into Princeton. Today, we're going to be talking about test scores, campus, culture, and alumni interviews. So let's get into it. Did you personally visit Princeton before applying and how did that affect your view of Princeton? I did not take an official tour at Princeton, but I did visit the campus before officially applying. And I think it helped me make the decision to go there because I think it's all about a feeling that you get when you're on the campus. It's very um, ambiguous and really inexplicable, but it's just if you can imagine yourself there. And I think it helps if you're actually in that environment when you are sort of reflecting on whether or not you can see yourself there. So for me, it was a big factor because once I was at Princeton, I did really envision myself attending and succeeding at the university. And I think those are two really big qualities to look for in a, in a school. Oh, a, a couple of things. Um, I did have to look a lot online. I didn't really have much of an opportunity to go. So what I basically could garner from Princeton was either from Princeton staff and students themselves or from what I got from my interviewer because he did talk about Princeton a bit. Um, it impacted my decision by, well, all I really had off to go off with was statistics really. How do you suggest kids who can't visit Princeton this year find out whether it's right for them? The virtual tour that's actually on the Princeton website does a really great job of giving you a, the layout of the campus. And so I think another way that students, especially this year, can try to reflect on whether or not they can see themselves at an institution, taking those virtual tours is one really great way just to get a visual landscape of what everything looks like. In addition to that, I think doing research into different programs uh, as well as clubs and other activities that are offered on campus will give you a better idea of the culture and if possible reaching out perhaps through email to current students or faculty members is also a really good way of getting some questions asked. To anyone that has to struggle with the Zoom and everything, they can't go to Princeton, coronavirus is ruining that. Really just listen to what the people you're talking about are telling you. And if it sounds like what it would fit into your personality, it would fit into what you feel like you are as a human being and who you want and what you want to get out of your education, then Princeton, yeah, it would be a pretty good fit for you. In your personal experience with Princeton's online culture this semester? I'm gonna say that the culture, like, the culture is, uh, the, like, as in, like, the professors and, like, the students. I met some really amazing people and, like, that's what's all, that's what it's all about, but of course you're just gonna have to deal with, like, the awkward Zoom silence and all that, but, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not quick to make judgments and I think it's been okay so far. It's been pretty good so far. I only really know Princeton through the online format. And from there, I will say it is definitely a very demanding culture. Um, it is rigorous in terms of academics and activities and also trying to maintain a social life as well. But I will say, I think Princeton also recognizes that and therefore offers resources for students to be able to handle that challenge. So in that way, it really gives you the tools that you'll need to succeed and not that you will never run into trouble, but that at least once you do, you'll be able to figure out what steps you need to take in order to keep pushing through. So there's definitely a balance in that. Very, very fast pace. Uh, coming into this, uh, my orientation did not seem to take any time at all and then I was suddenly thrust into the classes that are Princeton. Uh, the people I meet have been very intellectually stimulating even over Zoom calls so that's been great. Um, and there is one thing that I did hear about Princeton culture before I got in which was that we have a very work hard play hard mentality 
And even though I'm not there, I definitely understand that now because the amount of studying you got to do, it's quite a lot. And it really makes you appreciate whatever free time you have. How important would you say are the alumni interviews? Like my alumni interview, when she interviewed me, she was like, oh, this is like only a small portion of the um, overall application. Like it doesn't really like factor in that much. But I think it honestly, it kind of does. I feel like the interview just really gives the interviewer a chance to see what makes you definitely um, excited, what gets you like hyped up for something or like, for instance, like, oh, this is this is an extracurricular activity that I've been so passionate about, like, and you like start talking about it and like it, you just like see that excitement in the per in the interviewee. And I really think that like, when like those notes from the interview like really um just give like add another like facet to your overall application and it shows like oh this um this person is like really curious about like let's say like music or like this person is really really interested in research and it just like gives a, like a kind of like boost to like parts of your application like showing that um you're definitely like interested in these things that that may make you like a much better like a better fit for the university, so. Yeah. How will the format of Zoom change the interview? I think so. I think it will, because it's, I know that for like my online classes this year, and I mean, last semester for high school, it's, it definitely changed like with like the interactivity and everything. And it's, it's gonna be like, I feel like a little bit harder to communicate with, um, with your, with, People like can get like your ideas across or something like that. Maybe like people might like, I mean the overall medium might like affect like their willingness to like speak or or something like that. It's also gonna be like have some benefits as well, especially like in this unique times. Like you don't have to like, for instance, like let's say if you don't like have an alumni that like lives in your area and you have to like travel like a long time or something like that, you can just like do it over Zoom and it will be. Um, it won't might it might not have to like conflict with any of like your other like s scheduling needs or anything like that last minute tips um first of all kind of like create um don't okay first of all don't stress don't 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 get worked up i know it's a very difficult thing to do because like everyone like when i was about to get interviewed I, everyone was just like oh don't worry you'll be fine just don't stress and um and like the day of the interview i was like literally shaking in the car like as i was waiting for the inter for me to like go to the office of the interviewer but seriously this is a small very it's like compared to the rest of your application it's a very very small um component of it it really just like provides like a little boost for like the admissions officers to like get you know get to know you in like a different setting be like excited be curious be um just just relax and you're gonna you're you'll do great for the interview